know, being around Belle, it's just a certain set of pride that you feel. Um, I love wearing our yellow uniform. It just kind of shows who we are, and it's tradition, and I like it. Being here at Angelo State, it's just, it's a family here, and um, the girls are a family, and the coaches are a family, and um, we fight and laugh and hate and love at the same time. From day one, uh, they had a plan, and, and they knew what they wanted to accomplish, and uh, I thought it was so neat to, in our women's dressing room, there's a big grease board on the, on the wall, and uh, early on in the year, last year in the fall of 2009, somebody put on the board working for the ring. At first it was just a few of the upperclassmen and then some more of the girls got involved and uh, by the end of the year, I mean, everybody had bought into the idea that we were working for the ring. Uh, heptathlon, that's um, my favorite event. I think it's Crystal's favorite event as well. And um, we just enjoy that event. So to go out there and get one and two in such an event that we have so much fun doing and that we put in so much work to um, get the results that we did is um, phenomenal. The first lap around, perfect on pace, and the second lap around just kept going. And I was kind of in the back of the pack in the first lap. Everyone went out very fast for a 800. They were, I think, 59. And I came through at 61. Coach Dimmern said he put his head down when he saw me behind everyone. And uh, But I just kept going. Totally surprised to be in second place. And it was really, it was one of most memorable points in my four years in outdoor track. She made one of the biggest moves on the back stretch in the second lap of that 800 I've ever seen. Um, you know, she did come by, come behind at the back of the pack, but she's a real strong runner. So I may have looked worried, but you know, I, I had confidence in her. But when she made that move on the back stretch, and it was awesome. And uh, yeah, that was huge. I think that. Like I said, that was one of the de defining moments after that. Um, you know, we went on in the 400 hurdles with Crystal and, and Ice getting huge points and then Bird sealing it with the 200. Uh, you know, it just kind of, after Andrea finished, everything just kept progressing and getting better from there, so. You could hear the announcer say, coming into the 4x4 four four relay, Angelo State's up by 12 points. And Coach Reed, I, I just remember him looking at us and saying, we just won nationals. We had just finished running 400 hurdles and we were up at the warm-up area, which is away from the track, and Coach Reed comes screaming like a little girl, and he's just like, we won, we won, and it was pretty exciting, and we couldn't believe it, and even now my heart's like racing. Um, I was just like, whatever, Coach Reed, you're lying. He's like, no, no matter what we do, we're still going to win. When Bird crossed the finish line, they and they put the points up. Uh, Coach Dimmern said, "That's it. It's a done deal. It's 12 points." And I think I asked him, "Are you sure?" About four times, and he did. We high fived, hugged, and on the way up the hill, I I was frantically calling people and called my wife and uh, called Coach Noble and called Coach Brassfield, and uh, I got up there and they were warming up, and uh, I think I told them, "That's it. It's done." Of course, they thought I was. They didn't know I was talking about the championship, and they were like, what? I said, we won it. And of course, they started hollering and hugging everything. And but then, then those girls stepping up at the very end and winning that 4x4 four four and placing such an exclamation on that, saying, this is our championship, and you're not going to take it away from us, was really, really neat. So I called them up, and I said, hey, I said, we don't have to run this thing. And I said, but we're going to run it because that's what Angela State's about. And I said, uh, let's leave an exclamation point. It's Kenesha Jones. It's Angelique Smith for St. Odds. 55-7 for Anna K. Campbell. This will be a battle here. Angelique Smith, who's been an outdoor lap champion. And they are battling together. And now, watch Angelo State trying to close the gap. And that is Salithia Bird. Bird, the 400 champion, wears the yellow in third. Only 200 meters left in the Division II Women's Championship. And watch Salithia Bird. Bird drawing a bead on the two runners in front of her. That's Jones and Smith. On the swing outside, it's three wide. What a run by Salithia Bird. Salithia Bird brings the baton in first. 52-1, the time on Bird. 
She ran a 53 in winning the 400, and she gets her team the championship in the last event. Don't you like seeing that when you got a team that's going to win anyway? They put it all on the line, and they win the final event to put an exclamation point on their first women's championship in the Division II. Got to nationals and winning nationals by hard work and determination and a little bit of talent to go along with it, but it's, uh, yeah, it's fitting for us to have a national championship. Okay.